Sometimes I sit down to write a tweet and my idea just doesn't fit. Wish there were a way to take my ideas beyond 140. I've got it. This month's senior showcase, uh, which is Max Lowerman. Wow, take him back. Max, as you think about your senior year and uh, the past four years at MHS, what, what's been one or two of the highlights? My friend Matt Wilkinson broke the two mile school record at Hamlin, this track meet, um, my freshman year. And watching that was pretty special because my coach used to have uh, have the record before him, Jeff Renlin, so it was very, very fun to watch. So that was definitely one of my best memories. What's the longest distance you've run? 17 miles, one of the days this summer. So I believe that's, that's the longest single run I've had. Any other activities or sports that are in your wheelhouse that you enjoy? Rec basketball is a big one, or intramural basketball. Um, our team took home the championship this year, so that was probably the pinnacle of my high school career, um, <laughs> winning, winning that intramural tournament. You starred in two episodes of Elf, one in two, which of course to our viewing audience was a new script that did not ever make it to a theater. I'm just always impressed by that. What, what's driven your acting career? I saw the paycheck on the first email he sent me, and I knew I had to uh, had to hop in right there. So I knew the pay was going to be uh, pretty solid, uh, but but really it was just it was all just about um I mean it was one of those opportunities. It's it's very cliche, but in my head it's like it's kind of a note. It's, it's like you can't miss opportunity. It's a once in a kind of lifetime thing. For Thirty years, if you have children, they discover it. What will you say about what will they say when they see that? What are you doing? <laughs> that, would, that would be that would be my first thing. Um, then I'll, I'll give them the whole backstory on how I uh, basically paid for college off of these two videos and then they'll be kind of surprised. One of my favorite things about Max is that he lights up every room that he enters. Um, when he enters the classroom, candidly, usually a few minutes later than expected, um, the energy just shifts. He's curious, he's enthusiastic, and he's so engaged and that always yields for better class discussions, for curiosity in the classroom and of course the off uh, the occasional off-topic conversation. Max is a great friend because of his loyalty and commitment to his friends. Um, he would do anything for us and we know that and he always puts our needs above his own. Um, also he's really good at getting like past the walls people put up and this allows him to truly get to know and form personal re relationships with everyone he knows and uh, this, this makes him a good friend. Remind me your plans for next year. Next year I'm going to Butler University in Indiana and I'm going to be studying or I'm double majoring in finance and entrepreneurship slash business management and then also minoring in Spanish as well. I'm sure you like to hear that. Think about your class of 2020 and you reflect on them, what are some things that you would say about them or how would you describe them? Thinking about the senior class, it's a very, very special group. You guys have, are all hard workers and I mean, you've just been the best group I could have asked for to spend the last four years with. Um, and I know you guys are all gonna continue to do great things in the coming years, um, no matter what lays ahead. Um, I think just keep working hard and um, success will come. So I thank you guys for this wonderful four years and everything you guys have done for me. Um, and I love you guys.